What's going on guys, Proto here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can record HD files at 60 frames per second with the first generation Elgato Game Capture HD. So, with the release of the HD60, you can record 1080p files at 60 frames per second on YouTube, which is great, but for all of us who still have the original Elgato, it's a little bit more difficult. Whilst the original Elgato can't record 60 frames per second at 1080p, it can do it at 720p. This would be great for montages where you need to slow down footage and gaming commentary since the overall flow is better and there is more fluid motion. Stick around to see the difference between 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second at the end of the video. If you are deciding which one to buy though, I would definitely recommend the HD60 since it can do 1080p at 60 frames per second. So, in order to record 60 frames a second, the first thing you need to do is open the Game Capture HD software and click on the little information button. This will display both the input and output resolution and the frame rate. For most people, what you should get is you should get a 60 frames a second input and only a 30 frames per second output. We we'll start by changing the HD TV settings. It's going to be on the home page of your Xbox. Then go to your settings tab. From there, we'll click System, Console Settings, then Display and then HDTV settings where you can change the output to 720p. This means that it won't output 1080p anymore but instead 720p for the Elgato, which is what we want. This also won't affect what you're seeing on the TV, since the TV or monitor is still going to stretch the output and resolution at 1080p. Now that we've changed this, we can go back to our GameCap software. So now click on the same information icon and it should read 1280 by 720 at about 60 frames per second. Ok, so now click on settings and change the settings to what I've got on the screen which is HD720 and allow 60 frames per second. So now that the tutorial aspect is over, here is the difference between 60 and 30 FPS. As you can see, it's so much smoother and much more enjoyable to watch. Again, it's great for montages and edits since when the footage is slowed down, it's much smoother. So guys, that sums up how you can record HD 60 frames per second videos with the original Elgato. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it somewhat helpful. If you did, be sure to leave a like, comment, rate and subscribe, check out some of my other videos. Peace.